The divide is bleakness personified. Welcome to the breakdown where we break down all the messed up shit. Last video I said the most liked comment will be the movie I talk about next. And you guys like this comment the most. The most disturbing animated movie of 2014. Wanna watch that? Go across the spooky verse and subscribe to my second channel, Booty Rice. Every subscription makes the booty bigger. Booty Rice is where we will upload the Lego movie breakdown. Sub to that channel and then I'll drop the video. Link in the description. Second most liked comment was a movie called The Divide, directed by Xavier Gins or Gins of Frontiers and starring Lauren German who played Beth in Hostel 2, a group of survivors barely keep it together hiding in the aftermath of a nuclear bomb. Humanity goes right out the window. Now we're gonna do this again. Whatever movie suggestion gets the most likes in the comments, I'll make a video on it next week. Literally anything guys, Terrifier 2, Requiem for a Dream, anything. Don't scramble this on a joke movie this time. Hit that like button on the suggestion you wanna see next. You ready to see how crazy this movie is? It's on Tubi, but let's get into the breakdown. Cue the Gohan. New York just got hit by a nuclear weapon and everybody in this apartment rushes to safety. Sorry granny, every man for themselves. Another explosion kills most of the survivors with a small group reaching a basement shelter as the entire building crumbles around them. The movie has its own little anime intro which I don't see a lot nowadays. But then it's back to this sorry group of survivors still trembling in the aftermath of hell on earth. Let there be light says Mickey, the hermit who let these sorry folk in. Ah yes, that'll definitely keep out all the cannibals and the murderers. No, really it's for stopping radioactive dust. Rule number one, don't open the door, especially you Clark Kent nerd. This bomb shelter's got some more room to it, back rooms, a daycare, all of that. Plus this nice Game of Thrones era toilet. That's fucking disgusting. Kick him out. This is nuclear war, we don't got time for that. What you thinking? Think we on a vacation? No, this is nuclear war. And plus we got all the baked beans we could ever enjoy. Some of the men ask Mickey when they can go outside, like kids wanting to go outside during a recess. This is Sam, an attorney, and he goes out with the main character, Eva. Eva doesn't like Sam as much as he likes her, and Mickey doesn't like anybody. Granted, these dudes are always complaining, listen. Gotta have to eat this shit every day. It's like they think it's Spy Kids and they can just put McDonald's in the microwave. Are we really supposed to rely on this guy? Sam. No, 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 really, really. How long can you keep us alive in this, in this? Shithole. Yes, exactly. You know what? This is a fucking shithole, man. Sam, shut the hell up. I dislike everybody in here except Eva. And even then, that's mostly because that's my mom's name. Oh, guys, wait. Someone is trying to knock down that door. A rescue. The survivors are saved. They cut the lights as the rescuers cut through the door. Damn, they're gonna let all the radioactive dust in. But it's some freaking Rainbow Six SEAL Team survivors plopping in the room. Some high tech keyboard warriors. These aren't survivors. This is a hit squad. They kidnap the little girl and inject her with something before locking her in the bag and taking her out. The rest of the hit squad stalk through the shelter to execute the rest of the survivors. They find Eva, but Delvin beats him over the head. Mickey steals a gun and executes another, and finally kills the last one, causing an explosion after shooting his engine backpack. Ah yes, more duct tape will definitely keep out those biohazard men. Eva later feeds Marilyn, the mother of the girl, who says that the little girl is the only good thing about her. Uh, maybe she's gonna be on her villain arc. The group argue about going outside to see what's going on and to see if they could rescue the girl. This guy, Josh, puts on the bio hazard suit ready to take the first depraved steps outside like a depressing first walk on the moon. This was a cool shot, them realizing that the biohazard group have sealed a path to their shelter. There isn't much to say except this is cool. So the interesting thing to me is that the government have to have known that this would have happened to already be set up like this so quickly. Josh finds cut off hair in a basement and then finds various young people locked in stasis 
justice machines, including the girl that was kidnapped. Suddenly, the other soldiers realized Josh snuck in. They tampered Josh's oxygen supply, allowing the radioactive air to poison him. Still, this is the group's moments of despair. Them learning that there is no rescue, and that the mother here learning her child is not rescuable. Then, even more depressing, the biohazard group welled the survivors inside of the shelter. They can no longer leave. Oh, and Eva is falling in love with Adrian here. Sorry, Sam. Now it's time to cut up the biohazard soldiers so we can throw the parts away in the toilet. Bobby offers to do it with sadistic glee and starts hacking away at them like a psychopath and then he walks back in the room acting like they forced him to do it. Meanwhile, Delvin here is suspicious of Mickey, thinking he's hiding food. Yeah, he's hiding food, but honestly I find it hard to care about that side plot. It's his shelter. One interesting thing is Josh. He's sick after being exposed to radiation and mentions that he only went outside just to find help for himself and his brother Adrian, not for the noble reasons he promised. The group invade Mickey's private room, watching all the adult entertainment he's got. Meanwhile, Marilyn starts a relationship with Bobby, the most dickhead guy in the group who cursed your daughter. Excellent choice. She tells Eva that she should be ready to give herself up to the men because soon they'll get lonely. Everybody is just going crazy, ready to escape or kill Mickey. Delvin finds a taser belonging to Mickey and robs Mickey of the food stuff that Mickey has been hiding. Delvin is then shot by Mickey for finding his secret. The group then tie Mickey up trying to get the combination to his secret adult video stash. Ooh, there goes that finger. I had a pun to go along with that, but I just can't put my finger on it. Sorry, don't unsubscribe. Horror Geek has infected me with pun disease. Mickey, just say the combination. It's nuclear war. We don't care about your fetish stash. He finally says it and inside of the locked room is food, water, and weapons. Bobby makes fun of Mickey even more and listen to this. He does something with the cut off finger. What does this look like he's doing with the finger? Your best guess is mine. Now the group seems like a bunch of people barely staying human. Josh and Bobby become the new leaders, but end up worse than Mickey. Not to mention, everybody's hair is falling out. Bobby is the devil. Josh is disgusting. And Sam is a damn coward. And Marilyn is on her masochist speed run. Looks like Adrian and Eva are all we got. Eva tries to escape the bunker, and Sam follows her only to try and do stuff to her. That's a skill issue, Sam. Skill issue. You. Real gamers know how to use their hands efficiently. We don't put our hands where they're not wanted, Sam. Later, Eva watches Josh, Bobby, and Sam assault Marilyn. The movie is so completely devoid of humanity. What even is humanity at this point? But then we see this, love and care. These are the only two who kept their brains despite being locked away. Next, Josh wants to assault Eva. At first, Josh was like Captain America when he went outside, but now he's disgusting to hear and even worse to look at. Now, Mickey's been tied to that chair for a while, and the only reason he says he hid the food was to see if he could trust them first. He tells Eva that there is a gun those pea brains haven't found yet. Not even Sam will help her since she won't put out. And then he'll go and let himself be bullied by his new best friends. I don't know if this guy ever had any self-respect at all. And they tell him it's his turn to cut up Delvin's body. The movie treats this scene like it's some very emotional loss of innocence for Sam, but I struggle to care. <laughs> so they make Eva cut up the body instead. Thanks for the help, Adrian. That's minus five points from you. And so Eva drops the axe down. Later, both Josh and Bobby cut their hair off time for their Heisenberg arc. I don't know why Eva is acting like Mickey was worse than these two. Just untie him and team up already. He tells her that there is another way out of the bunker. Mickey says that there is a way out through the septic tank. Eva later finds Marilyn deceased. Josh and Bobby broke her. And untie Mickey already. She's still acting like Mickey was the worst person in the world. Meanwhile, you got this cue ball walking around beating people. 
Eva then sees that her hair is falling out. She's sick too, and that instantly has her ready to go. She tells Sam to go get the gun that Mickey has hidden. She then goes to Josh trying to pull a Jennifer heels on him, you know, seduce him to lead him away from the office so that Sam can get the gun. Unfortunately, Bobby finds Sam trying to sneak in, and now Bobby wants to assault Sam. Bobby stops the bullying to open the safe, and Eva gets knocked out because she's not that good at the Jennifer Hill seduction trick. Finally, Sam gets some courage and finds the gun, beating Bobby and holding him at gunpoint. Unfortunately, Josh is attempting to assault Eva. She grabs a blade and stabs him right in the side of the head. If my granny was watching this, she'd be like, go girl, good. <laughs> so Sam's got the gun, but he won't shoot. Okay, Sam, just throw the gun to Eva. Throw it to Eva. Just let her catch it and she'll do the rest. I wish those losers that committed massacres had your restraint. I hate you all. Every one of you, I hate you. Sam shot Adrian because he was jealous of the attention Eva gave him, and he gets beaten brutally for it. Before they can execute him, Eva grabs a can and cuts Bobby's throat. Thank goodness, rest in shit. <laughs> I hated him. Josh knocks her down, but she grabs the gun and starts running out of the room. Finally, Mickey is free, and he shoots Josh right in the side. Before Josh dies, he throws a lantern on the ground, setting himself alight. Okay, I don't mind a painful demise for the number one loser here, but the bunker will be gone forever. Eva realizes the futility of fighting the flames and backs away, takes one of the biohazard suits so that she can escape through the septic tank. She breaks down the toilet and drops right down in that shithole, while Sam and Mickey start to die from smoke inhalation. Oh my goodness, the septic tank sewer line is even worse than I thought. Mickey actually seems happy about dying. He'll be with his wife, finally. So even in this bleak movie, finding peace in death still seems ironically hopeful. Eva makes it out of the sewer, looking around the destroyed New York City. Everything crumbled and reduced to ash, ruined. No hope left at all. The end. The movie was okay. Horror fans seem to really love it. Non-horror fans seem to think it's either okay or bad. This movie is called The Divide, and there's a divided reception to this movie. Very bleak film about how we lose ourselves when everything is lost around us. But we see that everywhere nowadays. So if there's a lesson to be learned, I don't know. And even if I did, it wouldn't matter anyway. And I guess that's the lesson itself in a bleak film like this. And that's why you should watch this video on Black Mirror. It had a twist that will completely explode your mind. Plus, it's a little bleak too. If you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe to see more messed up stuff. For you Lego movie voters, go over to Booty Rice and wait for that upload. Subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. Spooky out.